Hello, friend of God. Welcome to Morning Prayer for Monday, August 5th. Today, I'll be your host, Aiden Rampersad. And before we start, I just want to acknowledge that we will be using the pattern of prayer authorized by the Anglican Church of Canada called Prayer Without Ceasing. Now, before we begin, let's take a moment of silence, opening our hearts and minds to the love and presence of our Lord. O Lord, open our lips, together, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us, together, and clothe us with power from on high. Glory to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, together, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 80 Hear us, shepherd of Israel, you who led Joseph like a flock, you who sit enthroned between the cherubim, shine forth before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Awaken your might, come and save us. Restore us, O God, make your face shine on us, that we may be saved. How long, Lord, God Almighty, will your anger smolder? against the prayers of your people. You have fed them with the bread of tears. You have made them drink tears by the bowful. You have made us an object of derision to our neighbors, and our enemies mock us. Restore us, God Almighty. Make your face shine on us, that we may be saved. You transplanted a vine from Egypt. You drove out the nations and planted it. You cleared the ground for it, and it took root and filled the land. The mountains were covered with its shade, the mighty cedars with its branches. Its branches reached as far as the sea, its shoots as far as the river. Why have you broken down its walls so that all who pass by picks at its grapes? Boars from the forest ravage it, and insects from the fields feed on it. Return to us, God Almighty. Look down from heaven and see. Watch over the vine, the root your right hand has planted, the sun you have raised up for yourself. Your vine is cut down, it is burned with fire. At your rebuke, your people perish. Let your hand rest on the man at your right hand, the son of man you have raised up for yourself. Then we will not turn away from you. Revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, Lord God Almighty. Make your face shine on us, that we may be saved. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ, our Good Shepherd. You have led us to the kingdom of your Father's love. Forgive our careless indifference to your loving care for all your creatures, and remake us in the likeness of your new and risen life. We ask this in your name. Glory to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, together, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Acts chapter 2, verses 37 to 47. When the people heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the other apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children, and for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. With many other words he warned them, and he pleaded with them, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 were added to that number that day. They devoted themselves to the apostles, teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. 
They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Together, thanks be to God. The Responsory Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Together, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge the Lord, who will make straight your paths. Together, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Happy are those who find wisdom, and those who get understanding. Together, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. An Affirmation of Faith Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. The Prayers of the Community As a responsory for this prayer, we will say together, God our strength, hear our prayer. O God of our salvation, guard and direct your church in the way of unity, service, and praise. Together, God our strength, hear our prayer. Give to all nations an awareness of the unity of the human family. Together, God our strength, hear our prayer. Cleanse our hearts of prejudice and selfishness, and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. Together, God our strength, hear our prayer. Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise, so that all may share the good things you provide. Together, God our strength, hear our prayer. Strengthen all who give their energy or skill for the healing of those who are sick in body or in mind. Together, God our strength, hear our prayer. Set free all who are bound by fear and despair. Together, God our strength, hear our prayer. Grant a peaceful end and eternal rest to all who are dying and your comfort to those who mourn. Together, God our strength, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Eternal God, you create us by your power and redeem us by your love. Guide and strengthen us by your spirit so that we may give ourselves today in love and service to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord's Prayer Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. This concludes the morning prayer for Monday, August 5th. Thank you, friend of God, for joining us today. Let us bless the Lord. Together, thanks be to God. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen.